All right, uh, let's look at the homework 4.2, problem number three. Right, so we're going to use the definition to evaluate this um, uh, definite integral. Right, so let's do that. All right, so first thing that we need to do is find uh, delta x. Right, so this is going to be just uh, b minus a over n, which is, right, b is 9, a is 1. Right, so that will give us 8 over n. Right, and uh, xi is going to be uh, a plus i times delta x. Right, so a is 1, and plus uh, uh, delta x is 8 over n times i. Right, so let's follow the definition. Right, so the definition is, right, so you have a limit as n approaches infinity, summation i goes from 1 to, uh, to n, right, then f of xi, so we're going to replace x by xi, so x squared would be 1 plus 8 over ni, squared minus 4x, so uh, 1 plus 8 over ni, and plus 4, right? And the delta x is again um, 8 over n, right? So we just have to evaluate this, right? So let's do that, right? We still have a limit uh, as n approaches infinity, and the summation i goes from 1 to n, right, so I'm going to multiply this out, so you're going to have, uh, so 1 squared would be 1, plus uh, 2 times 1 times 8 over n i would be 16 over n i, then 8 over n i squared, so 64, over uh, n squared and i squared, right? So we have that, and um, then we multiply. So negative 4 distributed those two terms. So that's going to be just a negative 4 minus uh, 32 over n i. And then you have uh, plus 4 at the end and we still have 8 over n, right? So let's simplify, right? So we have, uh, oh, there's negative 4 and a positive 4. They can cancel out, right? So we're going to have, let's see, um, let's uh, collect the like terms. So limit as n approaches infinity, summation i goes from 1 to n, all right, so first thing I would probably do is uh, collect uh, this guy. So this is the only one with the i squared, right? But uh, if we, uh, remember to distribute uh, this guy to here. All right, so we have to multiply uh, 64 times 8. So what's 64 times 8? All right, 4 times 8 is 32 and 48, so 51, All right? So this is going to be, uh, so 64 times 8 is 512 over, All right? And uh, n times n squared, so n cubed on the bottom, All right? Then you have uh, i squared, All right? Then we can combine uh, these two guys, so this guy and minus 32, so it's going to be, that's uh, negative uh, 16 over n i, right? But we still have to um, distribute uh, 8 over n, so uh, 8 times 16 is well, so it's going to be a negative, right? 8 times 16 would be uh, 6 times 8 is uh, 48, and uh, 8 times 1 is 8, so 128, so 128, 
right? So n times n is n squared. So n squared is in front uh, on the bottom. Then you have i, right? So that takes care of these two with the uh, 8 over n multiplied. And then you would still have uh, 8 over n times 1. So it's going to be plus um, 8 over n is there. So that's this guy. All right. Then uh, we can just uh, use the uh, summation formula. So you have a limit as n approaches infinity, all right, then here, all right? So you have a 512 over n cubed is still there, all right? So summation of i squared is uh, n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6, all right? All right, then uh, we have, uh, let's see, this guy is negative 128 over n squared. But the summation of i would be n times n plus 1 over 2. All right. Then last one is 8 over n. Then summation of 1 is n. All right. All right, so you can clean things up. Uh, so you have n on top, n on the bottom. They cancel out. So n on top, n on the bottom, cancel out. And here, n on top, n on the bottom. So I turn, turn it into squared. All right. And also, uh, this is even. So it's uh, 64. And the twos canceled out. And uh, this is even. So it's, um, let's see, uh, 200. Uh, 56, all right, and then, uh, so this is to divide by 2, so it's 3, all right. Is this uh, divisible by 3? Uh, doesn't look like it. All right, so we have this. We still have to take the limit as n approaches infinity, all right. So you have uh, 256 over 3. Then you have, uh, so you have n squared, so use one of the n to divide n over uh, n plus 1. So n divided by n is 1. 1 divided by n is 1 over n. All right, 2n divided, so the other one, uh, we're going to divide that. So 2n divided by n is 2, and 1 divided by n is 1 over n. All right, so we have that. And then you have negative 64 times... All right, n divided by n is 1, 1 divided by n is 1 over n, All right? And then you have plus 8. All right, so you can see that uh, 1 over n goes to 0, and 1 over n goes to 0, and 1 over n goes to 0. So what you get is, all right, 256 over 3 times 1 times 2, so it's a uh, 512 over 3, right? Minus uh, 64, right? And then plus 8, right? So that's going to be equal to uh, 512 over 3 minus, uh, let's see, that's 56. Right, which is equal to, right, so common denominator, 3, and 5, 12, minus 3 times 6 is 18, and 3 times 5 is 15, so 168. All right, so that's going to be 4, and 4, 4, uh, 4 minus 1 is 3, right, 344 over 3. Right, so that's the um, uh, value of the definite integral. Right, so let's uh, type it in. Right, so we got uh, 354 over 3. Right, so let's check uh, by submit for testing. 
All right, it came back and uh, looks like uh, we got this one correctly. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.